Hi, this is Andrew Grease with Quality Equipment and Spray, QSpray.com, with the next in a series of videos to help you get more value and longer life out of your pest and landscape equipment. Today I'm going to talk about how important it is to keep your pest or landscape vehicle clean. And this may sound obvious, but I've got some great examples here where you're going to see that it isn't quite as obvious as you think. So let's get started. Here's the first picture. This is the passenger seat of a pest control vehicle, which the operator thought was his trash can. And clearly, this company needs to do a better job of informing or communicating with their employees that the vehicle needs to be kept clean and neat and safe at all times. This is disgusting. The vehicle is not a trash can, but it gets worse. Here's an example of this is a 100 gallon termite spray trailer and you can see the tank is totally covered with disgusting termiticide. This is really a health and safety issue and I don't want to leave the weed guys out or the landscape guys out. Here's a 100 gallon sprayer in an ATV that was used for spraying weeds at an apartment complex and you can see that this is uh, weed pre-emergent and you can tell that this has been going on for quite some time because you can see the layers of colors that this has been spilling out for probably weeks, perhaps months. And there's clearly some issues here. One is it's impossible for any technician to work on equipment like this and not get exposed to chemicals. Two, it sends a really bad message and image about the company that they don't care about their equipment or their employees. And three, you know, if you were a customer and you saw this kind of equipment, what would you think? Would you want this company doing work for you? Absolutely not. But it gets even worse. And here is the nightmare scenario. This was a dual tank pest control sprayer that caught fire and everything was melted and destroyed. And the technician claimed that he was driving down the freeway and someone in a truck in another lane flicked a cigarette butt and it caught his stuff on fire. And it melted everything and destroyed. You know, this is thousands of dollars worth of damage here. You can see that the, the, the this is the band. There used to be a, a tank there, and there's part of a tank there. So this is a lot of damage. Fortunately, uh, they got away with it. No one was arrested. No no citations were issued. So the real issue was the, the downtime and the cost. But clearly, the tech, uh, the tech blamed someone else. What probably happened was the truck was filthy with chemical or gas or oil or something that was flammable, and the tech flicked a cigarette butt out of his window and went into, or flicked a cigarette butt in the back of the truck while he was walking to, back to his vehicle, and it all caught fire. And so clearly this is the nightmare scenario, and what can you do about it? One is, from an HR perspective, you, you need to train your employees that they need to keep their vehicles clean. You need to train your supervisors to do inspections to make sure that the vehicles are clean. And uh, you need to hold people accountable that vehicles are kept clean. From an equipment standpoint, there are some things you can do as well. And here's an example. This is an example of our motor mount on a gas-powered sprayer. And we used a raised we use a raised motor mount. And you can see that arrow is pointing to a bolt. That's how you change the oil in the Honda. So you can get a pan under there and change the oil without dumping oil all over your vehicle. And this is the kind of thing that most company owners or managers don't think about until they actually have to change the oil. And so does it cost a little more to have a raised motor mount than a flat motor mount? Sure, but is it worth it? Absolutely. Here's another example. This is one of our spray rigs, and you can see what we do is we raise it up a little bit so that you can take a hose and clean out your sprayer, or I'm sorry, clean out your truck bed. Most of the time, the sprayers just sit flat on the, on the bed of the truck, and there's really no good way of cleaning it. But with this design, you can really do a good job cleaning it. So there's some HR issues that you can re reinforce, some training, and also some equipment design issues that are worth considering. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you will please think about QSpray.com when you need pest control or landscape equipment. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.